Some people may think warfare is only a tank's affair and that a civilian car should never get itself in such an environment. But sometimes they do. Welcome to this Tank Encyclopedia video. Today, we are going to cover the French Citroën 2CV used by French Navy airborne troops in the Algerian war. Feel free to share your favorite cars going to war, such as technicals and others, in the comments, as well as like and subscribe if you like our content. Algeria was colonized by the French from 1830 onward and quickly became the most important French colony. It was the only modern colony with a large European population, and as such, when various independence movements appeared in the post-World War II era, the French did not want to let go of Algeria. Starting the 1954-1962 Algerian War against the local FLN socialist and independentist group. The French Navy was deployed as part of the conflict, this included Navy riflemen who were supported by a naval helicopters group, Gun 1. This group included three helicopter squadron, which were referred to as flotillas due to them being part of the Navy. These were flotillas 31F, 32F, and 33F. So the 31F first operated Piaseki H-21s and the 33F the Sikorsky H-19s, all three flotillas were eventually equipped with the Sikorsky HSS-1, the naval variant of the H-34 helicopter of American origins. The helicopters of the Gun 1 were often used to support French Navy riflemen. The HSS-1 could be used for troop transport or medical evacuation, but were also used for fire support duties. One helicopter in each of the three helicopter flotillas was fitted with an MG 151-20 20mm autocannon of German origin, which was in widespread use in post-war France. On 26 September 1959, command of the Gun 1 was granted to a Captain Eugène Babo, a free French Navy and Indochina veteran. Babu appears to have been the one to decide to arm three helicopters of the Gun 1 with MG 151-20 20mm autocannons. He also initiated the search for a light armed vehicle which would be air transported by the HSS-1 helicopters of the GHAN or Gun. Babu was quick to consider the ubiquitous French car of the era, the Citroën 2CV, a small rustic car in production since 1948 which had been designed for rural use. He imagined that, stripped of most of its body, the 2CV would provide a very light platform that could potentially be fitted with some form of weaponry. The particular type of 2CV which was used appears to be a 2CV AZU, a utility vehicle which replaced the rear seats for storage space. This vehicle type was very widely used by French shopkeepers. The engine used on the vehicle in late 1950s and early 1960s production was a tiny 2-cylinder 12-horsepower engine. At 530 kg, a 2CV-AZU was a particularly light vehicle. It was 3.6 meters long, 1.48 meters wide, and 1.7 meters tall. In order to reduce the weight of the vehicle as much as possible, as well as make it a more suitable platform for armament, the personnel of Gun 1 would cut away most of the upper body of the vehicle. Pretty much everything above the driving wheel was removed, as was almost all of the roof and rear superstructure and the passenger seat mounted at the front. The original windshield was entirely removed alongside the upper body of the vehicle, but instead of simply having the front being entirely open, a small centrally mounted glass windshield was added, reinforced by two support bars which connected with it on the upper sides. The rear of the vehicle was modified to create an open space, pretty much a pickup configuration. This was made much simpler by the use of an AZU utility vehicle. Creating an empty space at the rear was pretty much as simple as removing the roof. The lower sides of the body, made of sheet metal, were retained to form a barrier for the armament section of the vehicle. This open rear space was used to install an armament mount. This was a cut cone-shaped mount, quite similar in general appearance to the one that could be found on many warships from the early 20th century. On top of this mount, a rotating support was mounted, on which the weapon which was chosen to be employed would be placed. A seat was mounted to the rear of this pedestal mount, but was not rotatable. When firing towards the sides, the gunner would instead lay on the vehicle's sides. The combat crew for the vehicle would have been of two, a driver and a gunner. The modified 2CV was nicknamed Jules, Captain Babu's radio coat. The vehicle was given a registration number of 442433, painted on the rear left of the vehicle's side and present on the frontal registration plate. On top of this registration number, a French flag and an anchor, a commonly used symbol of the DBFM, were drawn. The vehicle was painted in a sea blue color. 
On the rear sides, GHAN1 was inscribed in white as well as another abridged version of a more complex designation. The weight of the vehicle is unknown, but it was said to be considerably lighter than a Jeep, which weighed around 1.1 tons. A base AZU was 530 kg, and while the armament would make the vehicle heavier, this was offset by the removal of much of the body as well as one of the vehicle's seats. The weight at around half a ton could have been a realistic prospect for the vehicle. The 2CV fire support vehicle was tested with a variety of different armaments. The first option available to the vehicle consisted of recoilless rifles. It is mentioned that the vehicle was tested with two different recoilless rifles, a 57mm one, the American M18, and a 75mm one, the American M20. All known photos of the vehicle armed with the recoilless rifle appear to show it with the larger M20. The main advantage of the M20 was the low weight 47 kilograms of the weapon in relation to the large size of the projectiles it could fire. The gun fired 75 mm rimmed shells, a variety of shells existed for the gun, including high explosive anti-tank, heat, high explosive plastic, HEP, often better known under the British designation of hash, and smoke shells. Considering the French army's operation in Algeria with no enemy armor and little fortifications to speak of, the most commonly used shells was without a doubt the high explosive HE projectile. This was designated as T38 or M48. The round had a complete weight of 9.91 kg with a shell and fuse weighing 6.53 kg. The explosive charge had 676 g of TNT. The maximum effective direct fire range was considered to be about 1 km, though the gun could also be used in an indirect fire roll at ranges up to 3 km. The 75mm M20 appears to have been mounted under 2CV for a while, and a variety of photographic views of the vehicle have surfaced with such armament. However, it appears there were some issues with this configuration. Despite being recoilless, the M20 still caused vibrations which would have over time likely to have proved damaging to the car's frail suspension. As such, it appears the preferred option for the vehicle's armament was instead automatic armament. The automatic weapon armed 2CV should not be considered as merely a successor of the M20 armed 2CV, as it appears both armaments were considered for a time and could be swapped depending on which would have been preferable in any given situation. The automatic weapon on the 2CV was the German MG151-20 20mm autocannon. This German aviation gun was widely used in a variety of roles in post-war France. Inside helicopters, as those used by Gun 1, the autocannon was first used with a 60-80 to 80 round belt, and later, because of more advanced mounts, a much larger 500 rounds belt. Inside the 2CV Khan 1 vehicle, the shorter belts appear to have been more likely to be used due to the more limited space. The MG151 fired at a rate of 600 rounds per minute, with muscle velocities of 700 to 785 meter per second. The gun weighed 42 kilograms. There was a variety of high explosive ammunition available for the type with the shells generally having either 20 gram or 25 grams of high explosive filler. The French considered the gun to be surprisingly sturdy and reliable even in the dust and sand filled environments of rural Algeria. It was noted as being easy to operate by a single crew member, even when in flight. So in a support vehicle like a 2CV, that would likely not have been an issue either. Though the gun had quite a short range, the firepower it offered in comparison to its lightweight was considerable. Unlike the M20, however, the MG151 was not at all a recoilless weapon. From the existing photographs, it appears that firing over the side would make the vehicle quite unstable and even lifted the rear wheel of the direction the gun was firing towards in the air by some extent. Still, the firepower provided by such a gun being mounted on a vehicle as slight as a 2CV was once again very considerable. The Jules conversion appears to have taken place sometime in or around 1960. The vehicle was employed between 1960 and 1961. Plenty of firing trials were carried out, in which Captain Babu was directly involved, sometimes serving as the gunner of the vehicle. Interestingly enough, the unit also carried out air transportability experiments. For this purpose, the vehicle was lifted under a Sikorsky helicopter by several cables, with seemingly a mounting point on each of the vehicle's wheels, one on the rear, one on the gun, and possibly more. At the time, the vehicle already appeared to have been considered as somewhat of a curiosity in the hands of Gun 1. It does not appear the conversion was actively used in combat. Nonetheless, when recounting it, veterans of Gun 1 appears to affectionately give it a nickname of Terror of the Jebel. 
Jebel being a word taken by the French from Arabic, which designates mountains in the Middle East and North Africa. Captain Babu was relieved from command of the Gun 1 on 17th July 1961. Seemingly around the same time, the trail of the armed 2CV goes cold. What eventually happened to the vehicle is entirely unknown. It may have had its armament removed and used as a pickup truck, lost due to an accident or breakdown or abandoned in Algeria. Though one cannot exclude the possibility it was shipped back to France during the French army's retreat from Algeria in 1962. This would likely have been known and captured on camera. There is no evidence of that ever happening. The vehicle as such forever remains a curiosity of the time the 2CV, one of the most famous and popular French cars of the 20th century, got turned into an armed vehicle for warfare in Algeria. This is, surprisingly enough, not the only time the 2CV was used by a military. Some vehicles were used as air transportable pickups by no other than Royal Navy commandos, with this unarmed vehicle seemingly seeing surface during the quelling of the Malayan insurgency in a fairly similar time frame to the Algerian war. In modern times, a replica of the vehicle appears to have shown up in a number of French classic cars meetups. This concludes Tank Encyclopedia's video on the Citroën 2CV Gun 1. We hope you liked it. Don't forget to check our website and our Patreon. And until next time, keep us in your sights.